recording live from somewhere. Hello, how do I share this? Give it a minute, see if anyone's interested in watching this. So uh, probably fast forward a bit. Um, if you're still, you're like, where's the content? Um, a little, a little high. Got uh, repping the O's and the Nats. Awesome. We will be doing one bubble mail tracking, two bubble mail tracking, three bubble mail tracking, and four bubble mails we're tracking. Um, one, there are two are real big surprises. Um, one from JM Bigos on Twitter, the other from 718 Films on Twitter. Um, I have no idea what's in there. Um, then we've got some, some break material from at Statman661, I believe, as well as a trade we did. He's a Tigers fan, so I sent him um, some nice parallels of Riley Green and some other folks, mostly uh, Don Russ, but uh, he didn't mind. Um, there were some um, flagship stuff, but mostly like the Franklin Perez's of the world. Um, and he's sending me a Dean Kremer um, auto. I think he just got sent down, which is kind of sad. Uh, but what can you do, right? You know, I don't know. We'll give it like 45 seconds. I've had these for a few days. And I've really wanted to open them um, because I like to open things. <coughs> but we have family in town for the, the long weekend. And uh, I couldn't just, you know, not video it and whatnot. So I um, had to do that. Uh, had to is just the way it goes. Um, boom, da, 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 da. Let's see. So 11.15 in my neck of the woods, give or take. Uh, big lacrosse game at 1 p.m. Maryland versus North. No, Maryland versus Virginia um, for the NCAA lacrosse championship. Um, it would be really nice if Maryland won because I like Maryland. I'm from Maryland. And Virginia is a trash state, so they can't have anything nice, I think. I wouldn't like them to have anything nice. Um, but yeah, what are we? We're at 2.45 in and I've done no interesting content yet. Now we'll start with the, the Dean Kremer, I believe. Nicely packaged. Got some bubble mailers for me to reuse. Getting on out of there, Dean. This is a cool card. Um, it's a very cool card. I believe. I know it is. I mean, in my opinion, I like Kramer. Um, I think he could be good. Um, he's got a tough ballpark. He's a fly ball pitcher, so pitching in Kennedy Yards is never going to be great. Um, so I think he could either evolve into one of those, you know, bulk relievers, couple two to three innings. If he knows he can just go that many and, and really air it out, um, that would be nice. Or, you know, somewhere else, unfortunately. Now, this is cool. We got a Pedro Severino um, Inception. Really nice card. I don't believe I have one of these. I don't have a lot of Inception. I like Inception, but uh, the risk reward there is a little tough, um, a little expensive um, for my taste. Uh, Severino hasn't had a great year, but uh, I believe they just sent, they brought Austin Wins up and sent uh, Cisco down. Uh, Chance Cisco, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, just never came together, I guess. We've got this 70 years of baseball, tops flagship. Look at that, that great um, patch with the RC in it. That's kind of cool right there. You see? There, you got the Oriole bird on the hat, the locks flowing, 70 years of baseball, my fingers, that signature, his name. It's a cool card. I really like this. I'm a big fan. Um, when I get to um, work on, you know, my display cases, I'm definitely going to shove it in there in a really nice way and make it look beautiful. I like Dean Kramer, as I said. Um, and I really like this card. This is a really nice card. These, I got to look at the other 70 years of baseball autos, um, see what they are. Because I might want to collect some, you know? I like to collect. It's fun to collect things. I think it's fun to collect things. What's going on? My computer being strange? No? Where's the thing? Oh, well. We got a thumbs up from someone, so I think I appreciate that. That's really nice of you. Um, let's go with the break. This is also Statman661. 
again, the packaging was on point. Uh, I believe there is a really nice card in here for me as a Baltimore Oriole fan. Maybe there'll be some more Dean Kremers. I'm gonna leave, I'm in my, my wife's office um, and I'm gonna leave it a mess and she's gonna kill me. So that's gonna be fun to deal with. Um, RIP me, um, divide my cards amongst my friends. Um, it's just quiet in here, nice nice office. Easy setup, good, good height for the visual, um, which is important for the visuals. Um, yeah, this is nice. So we got a pretty sweet Grayson Rodriguez, 36 overall prospect. Um, I think people kind of are sleeping on him. He's been pitching insanely good. Um, huge pedigree. Maybe later this year he could be up, uh, at least get some you know seasoning under his belt um, toward the end of the season. Um, and he's just uh, very exciting. He's slimmed down, bulked up, looks great. Not looking great right now is Brian Mountcastle. He'll get it around. Um, you know, baseball players aren't linear. Um, Mike Trout struggled. Um, Obviously, I do not think Ryan Mountcastle will ever be half the half the player Mike Trout is. Uh, but, you know, baseball players don't generally just hit the ground running. So I'm hopeful. This guy better hit the ground running. He's an old dude. He's an old draft pick. Went under slot from Arkansas. Let's get him up and let's see him hit. Let's get some baseball hits from this guy. It's a nice card. I like the futurist cards. They're really nice. He has Neil Diaz. You've seen a lot of these base Bowmans. We got some more Graysons, another Mountcastle, another Heston. The Austin Hayes is nice. Another Grayson Rodriguez top 100. Um, ooh, a Jordan Westbrook. A key to their draft. We got a Chrome of Heston. Heston. It's, you're legally obligated to say Heston every time you get a Heston Kirchstad um, card. I've gotten a lot of them, actually. I've been pretty Heston rich. I've sold a lot just because I would hate to like sit on them and then him suck. Um, and then kind of like miss my opportunity. Like, I feel like, like, this is a great, this is a little throwback Chrome of the 91 Beaumont are pretty nice. Heston, Heston, Kirchstead. Um, anyway, these are from Statman661 Breaks. He's just started breaking. Um, pretty, pretty great setup. Cards come fast and furious, um, safely though as well. Um, not too fast, not too furious. Um, so I strongly suggest checking him out on the Twitter sphere. Uh, most of his breaks, I think are on Nike. He, he'll load them on Twitter so you can just claim teams pretty easily. Uh, I think he's got a pretty nice one coming up. Tops, no, not finest. I forget what, what it is. Uh, but the Orioles were a great price and the pricing is pretty good, especially compared to a lot of other people. Third, Ryan Mountcastle. We must have 30 of those. And by we, I mean me. Um, I'm sure other people, we have a Heston. Heston, Heston. Stop me when that gets annoying. Gunnar Henderson. I don't know. I mean, I think once the minor league season heats up, we're going to really see how um, far away the Orioles are from being even a mediocre team. I would like them to be better than mediocre, but at the moment I'd take mediocre. Adley Rushman, I think he had a three homer game the other day. That's pretty sweet. Like Yosniel Diaz, I'm not really sure what they're going to do with him. Um, he's aged at this point, right? He's uh, what? He's born 96. That puts him at 25, almost. He'll be 25 in October. He's Cuban. Um, <coughs> so I'm not really sure. Like, he profiles as kind of a, a poor man's Jesse Winker, maybe? No, that's not right. Um, not great defense, corner outfielder, not great on base skills. I don't really know what, but he, he could thump the ball. Maybe he'll grow into some power. That'll be nice. This is some, this I'm excited for DL Hall. We got another Ryan Ca Mount Castle rookie card. Boom. But then we got the big card, the big pull by, by Statman661. A gorgeous, this card is staying in the PC. Teal, sky blue, whatever you want to call it. Heston Kirchestad, Bowman Chrome, throwback, boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. So good. It's so fresh. It's so clean. It's out of 125. You wish you had it, but you don't. No one else will ever have this card until I die. Maybe not even then. Maybe I'll burn it right before my last dying thing. I, there you go. Scott knows what it's talking about. Heston out of, what is it? 63 out of 125. It's a cool, really cool card. Um, it looks a lot better in person. The color pops even even more than I'm seeing it on the, on the screen, on the big screen, um, if you will. Um, anyway, I would suggest buying these cause they're cool. I'm sure your team has a prospect who's almost as good as Heston Kirchstad and maybe he was, you know, in that, but look at this. This is just some nice stack from, from six, six, Statman six, six, one, nice stack from Statman six, 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 
tick, 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 tick. Statman 661. Um, the two big guys, obviously. The Heston and the Dean Kramer auto. Boom. Love it. You love to see it. You do. Um, I do. You probably don't as much. Oh, these Hestons are pretty nice, too. I got to figure out what to do with my Hestons because, like, I'm leaning into him. I got to get – I needed some minor league bats from him to and him to do well, and then I'll be excited because – I just think they should have taken Austin Martin. And I feel like I'm going to think that for the rest of my life. And I'm going to be sad. And uh, you'd think I'd be used to the world making me sad, but what, what can I know? What can you say? Oh, sweet. This is from JM Bigos on uh, Twitter. Um, he is a great collector. Um, really nice guy. Phillies fan. So he's having a little bit of a tough time this year. Um, I just don't get that team. It's very confusing. Um, they, they just they seem to stumble and bumble all over themselves. Um, but uh, he's a nice little note said he was going through some product and thought I might enjoy these. I hope that means it's um, Don Russ. I mean, I'm, oh, it is Don Russ. Oh, that's exciting. Most people don't like Don Russ as much as I do. I think almost no one likes Don Russ as much as I do. Good. This is exciting. I like random, random acts of kindness, the rack attacks, the rim rocking, room shaking, slam pajamas. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Let's see. Oh, Trey Mancini, future MVP, gold 2020. That's a cool card. Boom. The year was 2020 and we never spoke about it again, but that's a cool card. Nice throwback of the best shortstop that has ever played in professional baseball. His range is like the Atlantic Ocean. Derek Jeter's range is like the smallest puddle from the biggest rainstorm. Not a good analogy. Austin Hayes was a rookie of the year favorite. Pretty nice. That's a mojo for show, yo. We call one of my cat's names is Joe Z. I don't Joe. Shit. Her name's Josie. We call her Jojo a lot. Um, I don't know why. She seems, she's very destructive. Very big JoJo, I think. Yep, Scott Armstrong likes it. We got a, one of the really – these parallels in 2021 are great. The throwback to the, I believe, 89 Donruss. And the autos on them are fantastic looking. I'm really grabbing up the Jemai Jones ones. They look really good, and they're very affordable. Oh, Anthony Santander. Love it. Love the Diamond Kings for the Santander. Big Santander fan. Hopefully he can get his uh, season back on track after all the injuries. Big league. I love big league. Um, big league's fun. I didn't have as much this year because they kind of increased the prices. And I uh, usually was like a cheap add on that I did a lot of packs for a, a small price, but they kind of, kind of big league you on the, on the price this year. I'm not, I'm not so cool with that, but anyway, here's a nice Trey Mancini. Oh, I love Alan Ginter Brooks Robinson. Look at that. That's just a beautiful card. Like a painting that could be a painting should be a painting. Put that on the Sistine Chapel. Oh, this this card makes me sad. Hanser, uh, does anyone know what he's doing? I don't think he's playing very well, unfortunately. I thought he'd be uh, a nice addition for um, the Kansas City Royals, who are doing decent or were and now are not, because Michael A. was playing well for a while, but I think most uh, – Carlos Santana is killing the ball. He's got like a 380 on base percentage, 12 home runs. Uh, big Carlos Santana fan ever since he was traded for Casey Blake. And was possibly a switching catcher, I believe, for a little while. Manny Machado, optic, sky blue, I think, um, insert, or maybe that's just base. I can't. It's hard to keep. No, it's prism. So, yeah, it's, it's a really nice card. I don't think I actually have this, which is kind of crazy because I have almost every Manny Machado card. I wish. That'd be awesome, but I do not. Gunner, Miner's Heritage. No, this is real, legit heritage. Oh, well, that's cool. I didn't know this existed. That's awesome. This is what, 2020? Yeah, 2020 Heritage. I did not know Gunner had a card in Major League. Yeah, that's confusing. This has got to be Miner's Heritage. No, it's top. I don't know. Because he's on, no, huh. Ooh, shiny things. I get distracted. That is a really dope, I believe, uh, black Allen and Ginter 2020 Eddie Murray. I think one of the great things we've seen over the last year and a half to two years in collecting is a lot more Eddie Murray cards. He is, his batting stance is fantastic. He's a handsome devil, great hair, great facial hair throughout his career. Um, great uniforms, obviously. Um, I would strongly suggest 
you pick up as many Eddie Murray cards as you can. Uh, one of what? Five players with 3,000 hits and 500 home runs, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Big Dave, man. Oh, gosh. Good God. I feel like you've been traveling and eating such, some good food out there. I, I miss, I'm jealous. Although I have a fridge full of steak and lamb chops. So I'm going to get after that soon. I'm going to have some steak tacos, I think, for lunch, um, which is coming up because I'm hungry. Um, but I had to feed the cats, had to run the Roomba, had to take a shower, had to do the dishes, family had to leave, and all that business. There's a Brooks Robinson. He looks like, got a little bit of a stank face there. Like, ooh, like, did I just fart? And if so, did it smell? Not 100% sure. John Means. That, does that look like a guy who's throwing a no-hitter? It does indeed. It does indeed. He's from Gardner, Kansas. It's a pretty cool card. The world's champion. Allen and Ginter. I like Allen and Ginter. Uh, that was the first thing that got me back into collecting Allen and Ginter. Um, I did a case break uh, for the first time ever, like six, seven years ago. Um, and I got a couple hits, got a box topper and, of uh, Ripken and Lou Gehrig and a relic of Nick Markikis. Remember Nick Markikis? Mike Musina. That guy's badass. Pennsylvania zone. Oh, Chris Davis. Silver foil. It's pretty sweet. Chris Davis. Oh, these leafs are the bomb. 91, right? Yeah. 91 leaf. Cal was an American League Most Valuable Player in 83 and Rookie of the Year in 82. He is an eight-time All-Star. Yeah, he is. Going to have a little more All-Stars and a couple more MVPs. Thanks, Big Dave. These are from John Bigas. Um, that is a cool, cool card. I love the foil. Yeah, the light today is uh, probably should have should have upcharged the backlighting, you know what I mean? Young Cal, yeah. That is young Cal. I mean, that's mid, actually mid-career Cal. Um, what's wrong, sweetie? You can go out. No? You just want attention? Dog wants attention. Young Cal. Because he was born in 60. This is 91. So he was 31 in this photo. 31 years old. That's crazy. Not far from where I'm sitting, he was born. Blue, foil, John Means. That card is business. Business on the front. Business on the back. Business on the front. Business on the back. We got a, a DL Hall Chrome. Love D.L. Hall. Man, the day that D.L. Hall and Grayson Rodriguez are in a rotation, we're going we gonna to be taking you all. We got some base. 2021 Don Russ. Ring Nato Nunez, who unfortunately is no longer with the team. John Means, who will be with the team until the day he dies. And Anthony Santander, who I love a lot. Man, that you can really dream on the Orioles pretty easily. Um, and this... This I'm excited for. This is from Big Day. 718 Films. You got nice packaging, all secure and whatnot. Oh, low. Whoa, whoa. Hold the phone. What is that? It is so cool. Wow. I'm, I should show it. Look at that. That is a PSA Jim Palmer. 1984 Donruss champ. I don't know how it got only a six. I guess maybe the centering. Um, but this is from the Orioles winning the World Series in 1983. Jim Palmer, the only player in baseball history to win a World Series in three different decades, 60s, 70s, 80s. They did 66 and 70 and 83. I think those were the ones. Maybe 71. I don't know. That is awesome. Thank you, 718. This is a huge, huge delivery. Um, 718 is the best, even though he's a Yankee and a Giant fan, which makes life very difficult most of the time because um, the Yankees are terrible and the Giants, New York football Giants, um, are just the worst. No one likes them except for him and all of the other people from New York. Uh, but this is a really cool car. They have a comparison to, to Cy Young on the back. Cy Young pitched 7,400 innings. Jim Palmer, 4,000. Jim Palmer only has 20 less shutouts. Um, he has about 200 less wins, but 200 less less losses. No, I could show it to you. That is awesome. I cannot wait to figure out where to put this guy. It is so cool in person. It's big and bold, just like yours truly. Well, I'm not big. And I don't know if I'm that bold, but I talk a lot. Look at that, man. So cool. Very cool. This is a great, 
great card sesh um, made possible by all my card friends. Uh, thank you guys so much. I'm going to throw some photos up. Yeah, you saw it, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, Big Dave. That was awesome. Can never have enough Jim Palmer, who's probably the best announcer in baseball. Um, I'm going to have to clean up all of my mess now because my wife's office used to be clean, and now I've moved in. Well, thank you guys for watching. Happy Memorial Day. I uh, hope no one's working too hard unless you work in that grill. Uh, I'm about to grill up some, some food. I'm not sure what. Um, but, yeah. Thank you, Big Dave. Thank you, John Bigos. Thank you, Corey, Statman661. I'll talk to you all later. Peace out, y'all.